Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michaela. if you're new here, and if you're not, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you guys here, so let's get started into this video. So today, I'm going to be talking about the new Revlon 2-in-1, what is this thing called? So today, I'm going to be talking about the new Revlon 2-in-1 uh, the one step hair dryer and volumizer. It's a round brush and a hair dryer in one so that you can give yourself a blowout or straighten your hair. So basically I'm going to be reviewing and showing you how I use the new Revlon. It's not really new. I guess it's just new for me. Um, and I've just now recently heard about it. I guess this would be a dupe for the dry bar round brush one. So I'm going to show you guys how I use this and also give you a more in-depth review. I got a lot of DMs on my Instagram when I showed this and it's seeing if I liked it and whatnot. So I have a few thoughts about it and I will go ahead and share those with y'all. Um, but before we get into that, make sure to like and subscribe and also comment down below if you have tried it and let me know what your thoughts are. All right, so I have a few initial thoughts about this. I like the product itself and I think it's a really affordable option, but I, there are a few pros and cons. Um, but first I wanna insert a clip of me doing my hair with it. So first things first, it came in this box here and the only thing that came in the box was the actual product. So this is the product right here. It's about this big, I guess compared to my head. It's like my head and neck basically. It's pretty big, it's bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a lot smaller. It is basically an oval brush. It's not a round brush necessarily, but it's an oval brush. And on the size of the oval, on these sides, the air comes out the most. So you could honestly like get into your roots and just let it sit there and dry your roots. I kind of want to make this video short, sweet, and to the point. I don't want to ramble on anymore, so I have a few of my thoughts. So let's start off with the pros. Um, I guess the good things about this product. First of all, it's affordable. So I actually, life hack, bought mine at Target and it was $60 at Target, but on Amazon, the same product was $35. And Target does price matching. So make sure that when you go to Target, you price match it, you ask them to price match it, and they will take it down from 60 to 35 or whatever you're price matching it to. So that's just a little life hack there for you. It's not as hot or damaging as a straightener, which I have fine hair, so when I do, use heat on my hair i have to use like the lowest setting or else i will burn my hair to a crisp so i like that it's not as hot it's not as damaging it takes less time which is so true i mean it only takes me it doesn't really take me that long since i have do have fine hair it doesn't take me that long to dry my hair but i will say that this took me only five minutes to do that so i really like that about it but and this is one of my cons and i'll get to that later you know what I'll get to that later. You'll see. We'll come back to that. Um, I also like that it's not as bulky as a hair dryer and a round brush, and it's just not as heavy. It's less work and less tiring. And this thing is super lightweight. It cuts the time of doing your hair in half, and I will totally attest that. It really does. Usually it takes me like 10, 15 minutes to dry my hair, and it literally took me like five minutes and it styled my hair too. I straightened it, it smoothed it out, it was great. I really like this product, honestly. Um, it's really good for adding volume to fine or thin hair. Now I don't know about thick hair, I can't say anything about thick hair because I do not have thick hair, but I do have fine or thin hair. So right now, 
you can't really tell but when I first did it um, as you can see in the tutorial if you just watched that it did give me a little bit more volume especially at the roots which is where I struggle I'll get flat here and then frizzy down here so I like that it smoothed out my hair but also gave me some more volume so I really like that I mentioned this already but it does have different heat settings which I really liked about that so if I didn't want to use any heat on my hair I could just use the cool setting and it'll just take a little bit longer or um, and I did this during my tutorial you can't really tell but I did start on high heat and that was kind of too hot I felt that that was too hot for my hair so then I just turned it down to cool to go back over everything so that I wasn't using so much heat on my hair and I really liked that about it so that's another pro for me so those are my pros now let's move on to the cons because there are a few i do have some beef with this product so my biggest con with this product is that it does not replace your hair dryer and here's why the way that it's set up you can't really get into your roots now you could spend however long you want to drying out your ends but your roots will still be damp at the end of the day. There's no way to get into your roots. And what you'll see in my tutorial is that I had to go in with my hair dryer and I had to basically blow dry my roots first and make sure those were dry and then go in with the product so that I could smooth out everything and give myself more volume. But honestly, it doesn't dry. This, that wasn't the first time I've used it also, that tutorial. That's like the second time I've used it and I still have to get used to it, obviously, but when I did it the first time, I just went in onto like my damp hair and my roots were still wet at the end of the day. So I, yeah, it wasn't good. So yes, while it does like blow dry your hair and give you that blown out effect, it will not get into your roots unless you sit there and like hold it there. And it's just like, what's the point? You might as well dry your roots first and then go in and use that kind of as a smoothing tool. That's my biggest con. So I guess that's... Not really that bad. I mean, I know everyone has a hair dryer, so all you have to do is just plug in your hair dryer real quick, do your roots, and then plug this thing in, turn it on. And you don't have to wait for it to heat up or anything. It's just a blow dryer. Another con, I guess, I guess I like have long hair anyways and fine hair, so I don't really get much volume as it is, but I just didn't find that it gave me as much volume as I thought it would. It was kind of hyped up to be a volumizer and I feel like it didn't give me that much volume or it didn't give me that much lasting volume. If it did give me any volume at first, it just kind of went away. I mean, my hair falls pretty fast anyways. That's just me, it's my personal opinion. It could be different for everyone else, but that's just me and that was one of my cons. And going back to not having any volume, and this is my final con, um, and I honestly don't have that many cons about it. I really just enjoy this product, but it really straightened and smoothed my hair more than it gave me volume. And um, I mean, that's okay if you're, if that's what you're going for, because it really replaced the straightener. It did smooth out my hair a lot and like just make it, so that it's soft and smooth, but it didn't really give me that much volume. So that's the only thing that I didn't like about it, but I mean, I also don't have that much volume in my hair anyway, so. So my last and final thoughts, I really, really enjoy this product. And I think it's worth the money, especially if you price matched it. I got mine for 35 instead of 60, and I just think that was a great deal, but also, I just have to say like make sure that your roots are dry before you go in and use this product because it will not dry your roots at least it's not not as fast as it claims it will not as fast as that it will get your ends um, yeah that's like the only thing I have to say really other than that I would just recommend sectioning your hair I didn't do that the first time I tried it and it just took me a lot longer to use it and to get a hang the hang of it and it kind of tangled my hair a little bit all you have to do is just section your hair maybe just in half and I showed that in the tutorial and just get the under parts first and then go back over the rest of it um, and that's just how I found that it worked the fastest also last thing and I will say this again and again and again make sure you price match at Target. Like that is my biggest life hack ever. So go price match it, get it at a cheaper price than you have to pay. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. But with that being said, I would highly recommend this product. I think it's worth your money. I think it does what it claims to do. And it just cuts the time of blowing out your hair in half and it's just less hassle, less, time consuming, less products that you have to use. I just think it's a great product. So with that being said, it is approved. 
it's Michaela approved. All right, and that completes my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot more than you know and also comment down below if you're getting this or you have already gotten it and you like it or don't like it just comment something down below all right and i will see you guys in my next video bye